Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out Paths 2 by Audio Modern. This is a contact instrument that does require the full contact 5 player, so keep that in mind. But this sounds absolutely phenomenal. The quick and dirty of it is there are 25 song starters wrapped up inside of this thing and they all sound phenomenal. You click the main knob here and to cycle through them. So you can tell right off the bat, just by the, the intro there, and this one we've checked out too, and they both sound absolutely incredible. Really, really well sound designed, and they just feel great. So the way this works out is I'm just clicking this key right here, which triggers six different stems. And these blue keys over here actually trigger those stems individually. Okay, so you can either play these as stems, you know, using the contact player's output, you can output them into separate channels. You really, you have a lot of control over these. So you can look at it like song starters, as I said before, because once you have these separated, you essentially have a track and you have like remix stems where you can go ahead and make your own productions. So each one of these has a kit number. So this is kit 07. It has a BPM, this is at 90 BPM. My project is at 115 BPM, but it still sounds great. I don't really notice any changes when I'm flipping through here and keeping my DAW at 115, for example. No artifacting or anything like that. So the algorithms that are pitch shifting and time stretching sound absolutely phenomenal. And then we have the key of the track. So this is in the key of E. Let's check out a couple more from the section selector here. So really, each and every one sounds phenomenal. Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, well, what are all these keys for? These are for actually pitch shifting the entire set of stems at the same time. So right now it's on the key of D, but if we wanna pitch shift it up, we just gotta click these keys right here. And you can do it through your keyboard, with your mouse, or with you know some MIDI clips inside of your DAW. If you ever want to go back to its original position, you just got to click this one right here in the middle. And we're back to D. So that's kind of the overall, but you can definitely get in and start tweaking some things out. So you see right here, we've got kind of a mixer icon. If we click there, we can come in and actually adjust the levels. We can solo mute certain things. We have individual panning and tuning for each one of the stems. So if I solo this. So tuning, panning on a stem-by-stem -stem basis, which, you know, obviously is gonna come in very handy. We also have the ability to affect each one individually, and there's some really great effects inside of here. So we got stuttering, filter system. We've got some delay. We do have some reverb here.
We've got a drive. Some really nice distortion there. We've got a standard four band EQ, and then we have this glitch control. Which is just gonna add that lo-fi kind of effect to things. If we ever wanna go back, we just gotta hit the reset button or the reset button right here. We can also bypass and then just close out of here whenever we want. So each one of the channels has its own set of effects. Not only that, but we can mix and match different kits. If I come up here, I've got kit 20. These are all kit 20 and they're labeled one through six. But if I come in, you know, choose kits five, six. Maybe solo it, see what we have here. So you gotta be kind of careful there with the melodic content, but some of the percussion and effects elements are definitely gonna be interchangeable. Coming back into the effects page real quick, we can cycle through here. We don't have to close it each and every time. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple instrument, but man, does it sound delicious. And man, do you get a lot of different song starters. I've said 25 different ones. Let's check out a few more before we wrap up the video. Anyway, that's a quick look at Paths 2 by Audio Modern. It's available on Plugin Boutique right now. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper, and I will see you in the next video.